Hi, this is Jason Filter with the Daily Forex Report for July 15th. We had a lot uh, that went on today. If you had listened to the previous video, uh, we had a potential for the market to reverse off of this candle, off this bar. And I said specifically with the US yen that I was looking for a break above this point or possibly below this point. Uh, if it went higher, I was looking to uh, get out at around that point. And if it went lower, which it ended up doing today, that I was looking to get out at this point. So if you would have taken this trade, you would have profited around 67 pips uh, for the day. And of course, that was nowhere near the low. But let's get that off the screen. Our, uh, our range that we're looking for for this next session is between 106.57 and on the low side between 103.79. So this pair is, is moving down and we are definitely looking for it to continue down. Uh, looking for support to come into the market at uh, around, and I'm gonna have to zoom out to get this. There we go. Looking for support to enter the market at around the 102.93 point. So around this point is where I'm looking for uh, potential support to come into the market if this uh, particular low is taken out. So it this low pretty much uh, hit previous resistance that is now support, but if we break that, we could go lower uh, to this point. And as far as to the upside, if the market continues uh, or, or turns around and goes higher looking for resistance to come into the market around 105.87. So let's take a look at the Euro USD. Zoom in. Looking at this pair, we're looking for a high potentially of 1.6077 and on the low side 1.5829. Now I'm looking for uh, potential for support to come into the market at the uh, around the 1.5780 point uh, looking for resistance at the 16,000 area uh, and we saw it move up higher today made new high for this pair and then pulled back uh, I anticipate this pair actually to move lower after this, uh, after today. If so, and, you know, if, if this low is taken out at that point, look, look to, to exit somewhere uh, between these two points. So taking a look at the, taking a look at, at the British pound US dollar pair, we see that this pair also went higher, much higher, and then pulled back prior to the prior to the close. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we're looking for the market to be or the, the range to be between 2.0197 on the on the very high side and on the low side 1.9885. Looking for support to come into the market at about the uh, the 1.9950 area and on the high side looking for uh, resistance to come into the market at 2.0087. So that's, that's kind of what I'm looking for today. I am looking for this pair to move higher, uh, potentially higher, at least until, until we hit this resistance point. Now looking at the US Swiss, uh, this pair broke a previous low today and I anticipate this pair to continue going lower. Looking for prices to be between 1.0211 and 0 0.9973 area. Uh, looking for support just above this and uh, right around this point and looking for resistance to come into the market at about 1.0250. So that's what uh, that's what we're looking for with these pairs. The US dollar, 
gave back a lot today and then and then pulled back uh, from those uh, from those lows. It, the retail sales were softer than forecast, uh, pointing towards continued lowering of consumer confidence. The the impact on the market was minimal though. The pound had better than expected CPI numbers. This just added fuel to its run up today. And the Canadian dollar just held their rates at 3%. Tomorrow, what to look for, you need to uh, look for the US CPI release. The Euro is also releasing their CPI figures. And the uh, Eurozone with Germany is, is releasing theirs. The Swiss are uh, releasing their adjusted real retail sales for May. Uh, that's something else you may want to take a look at for tomorrow. So until next time, this is Jason Filder. Good trading.